going to cover how you can train artificial intelligence, chat GPT specifically, to learn your business for effortless content generation. So when I talk about a social media plan, part of that is producing content because you want to connect with all these attorneys. And then when you produce content, when they scroll social media, they'll see you, your URL, your brand, your logo, and whatever your post is about, your value drivers, how you can help these attorneys get maximum policy limits on these cases. So we're going to show you how you can effortlessly create lots and lots of content by training chat GPT to know your business. So I'm going to share my screen with you now, and I want to just show you uh, how we do this. So we're going to open up this document. And if you're new to chat GPT, I want you to use this prompt first. You're going to say, act as a prompt engineer for every question I ask refine my question into a better prompt and then provide the answer. Do you understand? So let's do that. Let's go to chat GPT, which is here. And I'm going to copy that into chat GPT. Act as a prompt engineer for every question I ask. Refine my question into a better prompt and then provide the answer. Do you understand? And you hit enter and chat GPT will acknowledge you and it'll say, go ahead with your question. I'll refine it into a better prompt before providing an answer. What would you like to know? All right. So now, if you want to know how to train ChatGPT to learn your business, we're going to ask it this. And I'll read this to you. In a minute, I'm going to ask you to write some copy for my business. This will include mass emails to my audience, social media posts, and blog content. Before we begin, I want you to fully understand my business and my ideal customers. Ask me at least 20 questions about my business, customers, audience, and anything else you need in order to complete the tasks to the best of your ability. All right, so now I'm gonna hit enter. And now ChatGPT is asking me 20 questions that I can now answer to train ChatGPT about my business. And so now after I answer all those questions, I can then tell chat GPT to create, just using this as an example, create a social media post about the value of diagnosing TBI or concussion for people who have been in a car accident. Now I'm skipping ahead. I didn't answer all these questions. I don't want to waste a lot of time, but now chat GPT will create a social media post for you just like that about what can happen to people that have a TBI from a car accident. Uh, then I can follow up. What are the long-term consequences? By the way, this, what are the long-term consequences? of not getting treated for this condition and cite three medical journals in your answer. I mean, in literally seconds, it's providing the answer that you can copy and paste not only to social media, but it also cited three medical journal articles that you can copy and paste into your EMR or your digital notes. Because in personal injury, it's very hard for insurance adjusters to argue with medical journals. Uh, this one's from a Neurotrauma Consortium study in neurology. The other one's from Neuropsychological Society, the Journal of the International Psychological Society. And the other one is from the Journal of Neurosurgery. So th that's just a prompt that I wanted to show you, like how powerful ChatGPT is to create social media content. But if you give it this prompt here, I'm going to ask you to write some copy for my business and then asking ChatGPT at least 20 questions about the business, customers and audience. Like 
now when you ask it a question, it'll know everything about your business, the name of your business, goals or objectives of the business, your ideal customer, uh, how does your business differentiate itself from your competitors? In other words, in the personal injury space, uh, you may have a TBI protocol or ligament instability training or spinal decompression machine. Like you are different than everyone else in the market. So you can train ChatGPT to learn everything there is to know about your business. And then what I want you to do after you get all those answers, copy and paste all of that to a Word document or a PDF because I want you to save it after ChatGPT is, uh, you've given it all those answers and it's learned about your business. Because ChatGPT has a memory, but it's kind of short. So it'll remember for a few posts, uh, but after a, a, a couple of weeks, you may have to reload that and say, hey, ChatGPT, I just want to remind you about all the aspects of my business. Here it is. Copy and paste it from your document, put it into ChatGPT. It'll say, okay, got it. I know everything about your business. Like, how can I help you? And then you say, you know, create a letter to an attorney um, asking them where my payment is. You know, I signed an agreement that you were going to pay my bill. I haven't received the check. Uh, how can I create a letter to an attorney asking when I can, you know, ex expect to receive this check? So that's how you train Chat GPT to learn everything there is to know about your business so that you can create content, relative content specifically for your business by training chat GPT to do the work for you. I hope you got a lot out of today's training. I want you to have a great rest of your day. I want you to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. I produce a long form video every single week to help you move faster in your personal injury business. I'm Mark Slater with Prime Spine Consulting. Thanks for listening.